Hi, I'm Steve Dyer. I'm in the round pen today with this little four-year-old quarter horse mare. Her name is Ruby. She's actually my horse. She's my competition horse for cowboy racing this year. So I'm just sending her around this round pen here. And you know, people see uh, pictures and videos of wild horses running through the desert and they go, wow, that is so pretty. It's so beautiful. And I, I agree it is. Um, and they think that horses are in their natural state and they're just running because they're happy and free and that, that part's actually not true. Okay, I'm gonna ask Ruby to switch directions. Um, those wild horses, if they're running, it's because something's chasing them. They don't just run for fun. Just like Ruby here, she's not running because she wants to, she's running because I'm making her do it. And so kind of the same way with people, we kind of think, oh, I want to be free and I want to run and do whatever I want and not have anybody telling me what to do and follow all my little emotions and urges and all that kind of stuff and then I'll be happy. Well, most folks after a while kind of figure out that's really not true. Okay, so I'm gonna see if Ruby maybe would rather come in here and hang out with me because I kind of think she would. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay? See, I personally believe horses were not created to be wild animals. They're not tigers or bears. I believe that God created these horses just for us to ride, just for us to have relationship with and work and, and be with us. And the, that's where they'd find true happiness. And I've trained some wild Mustangs and been around them and, and I'm pretty confident that that's correct. But here's the thing, think about you for a moment. This is how this applies to you. Um, your creator created you for himself. There's a verse in Colossians. It's actually talking about Christ. It says, all things were created by him and for him. And that, that includes you. You were created for God, for his pleasure, for his purposes, to have a relationship with him. And all this running around and following urges and doing all that kind of stuff, it's, it turns out to be pretty empty. Does this horse look happier now than she was a couple minutes ago? I think so, okay? So how do you find that closeness? You find that closeness with God through Christ his son because he sent Jesus to provide that connection, that bridge. And so by accepting him and praying to him, then you will find this connection that you were created to have, okay? It's a pretty good thing. Hope that helps you.